everyone. Welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardinal. <clears throat> and today we're back with a brand new deck for the channel. It's a super fun deck. It's one of the meta decks. It's It, it was in one of the top eights for the last GP. And it's super, super strong. I mean, it's just got a whole lot of stuff in it. We like to call it Taste the Rainbow because that's essentially what you're playing is five color control. And even then, it's really only five color for one card, but it is what it is. But before we get into it, guys, remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It only takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also, when you get to our Patreon, you see all of our decks early. You see all of the extra exclusives we have to the Patreon, and you get access to our Discord. So go check it out. It's definitely worth it. Also down below, you'll find our FOW Gwimmar app. It is our deck builder for the Force Wheel game. Um, it took us a while to get it going and figured out, but we put all the things that we like of a deck builder and made it and put it out for everyone to enjoy it themselves. So with that, let's delve into Taste in the Rainbow. So it is with Almerius as the first ruler. It is the twelve. It's still two stages because I mean you're using two rulers because they're good. It's just very powerful, and especially yeah. her to yeah. start out with seventy life. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Almerius is the white one. She is judgment for two white and one for uh, and then tag team six stages. If your life would start. It starts at 3,000 more, so you start at 70 essentially, and then you pay one less to do judgments of rulers, and then you can tap target J Resonator, gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn, which yep. is super strong. Simple as that. Uh, her judgment, she is a 6 8 with flying and enters, put a target light non chant card or light alternative card with non chant part from your graveyard into the field, and then pay a white J Resonator as you control, get plus two, plus two until the end of turn. This is mostly there to judgment to get one card. You can get others if you need to, but mostly it's there for the one card. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. The next, the tag team partner, of course, is Gruz Belesta. Judgment is two black and one uh, tag six ages. If you would uh, call your first magic stone in the game, you may set your magic stone card and put on the field rested. And if you do, shuffle your magic stone. So you just get whatever stone you need, of course, to play. And whenever magic stone enters the field from the call J ruler, you control it, gains tap, it produces a moon or one will of any attribute as well. And then, of course, uh, when you do Judgment, this card gains plus two, plus two for each different name among all of Magic Stones you control. This card gains Eternal. It's a 7-7, seven, seven, as long as you control five or more Magic Stones with different names. And, of course, I forgot on the other side that uh, you do tap him, correct? You sack a stone. Mm -hmm. Stone uh, comes into play on the field, tapped mm -hmm. and rested. And then, of course, Magic Stones you control gain tap, produce a moon or one will of any attribute. So you don't have to worry about anything with the, the rainbow cost that you'll be playing. Yeah. All right, so the first creature of the deck is Mikage Rea. She is a one drop 4-4 four, four with quick cast and flying and an enter, search your deck for a darkness card, put it into the graveyard, vampires gain drain, and then if it's used as a, a, a banished as an additional cost of a mage R, you get to get her back. We're not really worried about that part, but anything that goes and puts things in the graveyard is pretty much good just yeah. because you can use the graveyard to your advantage so much right now and it's just it's worth it and she's just like a staple here at geektopia island for sure it's one of our favorites uh, the next one of course is exorcist mage of the academy it's a one white four four it's quick cast this card gains barrier as long as there is one more counter on it and if a resonator would be put in the field without being played from the hand remove it from the game instead next up is suya the cursed spawn of the star slash curse of ragnarok he is one drop four four Enter, target player, vanishes a non-magic stone, non j -roll entity, put X1 on counters on this card, where X is the number of counters, uh, where X is the total the entity banished. You may pay a black less to play cards, Curse of Ragnarok. And then his the chant is uh, one drop remnant. Oh, it's a two drop now normally if it's one drop with him yeah. in play. Uh, look at your opponent's hand, choose a card, and they remove it from the game. So it's super strong. Suya is really, really good if you're playing black just because he's so much value because you get to kill a thing on turn one or turn two, which is always good, Yeah. regardless what it is, and you get free value. And yeah, once he dies, because they, they will finally have to kill it if it gets big, then you get to remove a card out of their hand. So it's like yeah. a double whammy. It's really good. The next one, of course, is Morning Angel. It's a one white quick cast. It's a four, four. Flying, enter, remove up to three target cards in a graveyard from the game. And this is just to mess with the opponents, like all, all the main decks out there, right? Next is Pierre, the Godspeed Archer. It is one white for a 4-4. This card enters the field with two divine bow counters. Remove a bow counter. This deals 400 damage to target attacking or blocking J Resonator. Remove two bow counters, destroy target addition, which is what you're mostly going to use it for. And then you can pet, tap to put bow counters back on it, but we don't have a way to do that because we're not using strangers. But it's mostly there to kill additions or to do some damage to attackers. Yeah, as quickly as possible, for sure. <clears throat> 
Okay, the next one, of course, is Guinevere, the Jealous Queen. It's a one red, two four. So you can rest, banish a Resonator, draw two cards, then discard a card, and then, or you pay a red and rest, target Resonator you control. <laughs> Gains plus four, plus four until end of turn. When it deals or is dealt damage, uh, destroy it. Or banish <laughs> it, so you sack it before that happens. But Next is Faricia, the Virtuous Vampire. She is a green and a black for a six, six flying barrier. Discard a wind card, target resonator gets plus four, plus four. Discard a darkness card, target resonator gets minus four, minus four. Discard a both card, target resonator gets plus four, plus four, and another gets minus four, minus four. If you control a five heroes named Freesia, you may pay a green or black less to play this card. So. It's just good to start killing dudes and removing, removing the hand. Of course, we have a Sigur, the Covenant King, that if you had in your hand, you just discard it to kill something. Mm -hmm. It's a black and a green. Eight, eight. Play this card only from the graveyard. Zombies you control, King Bane, and then enter, search your deck for a Darkness Edition, which will cost two or less, and put it in the field and shuffle your deck. Pretty simple. He's very powerful most of the time. And then we got Welser, Master of the Six Stages, slash his last lecture. Welser is two green for a quick cast resonator. Enter, return target spell to its owner's hand. If this card is put into the field by the effect of his last lecture, remove it from the game and put two moment counters on each year as an HJ you control. Um... And then his chance side is his last lecture. It's quick cast, one green. Return, recover, rule really you control. If it's a six stages, put this card into play instead of putting the graveyard. And then his other ability triggers. So it's just really, really strong because it's like, hey, cool. Untap my ruler, counter your spell, or put your spell back in your hand. Yeah. Get free counters. So if you only have one will to spin and you know you're going to have a dude tapped, so done. It's super yeah. awesome. The next one, of course, is Ultra Magic Stone Golem. It's a 1 and an 8, 2020, but it has Precision Pierce, and you may pay 2 less to play this card for each different name among all Magic Stones you control. And then enter, destroy all J Resonators as your opponent controls with attack less than the attack of this card. This card's just super good. It's super solid. You will get to play it, so don't worry about it. Yeah. And I've played it a couple times in Brawls, and it's pretty powerful. It's super strong. Yeah. Uh, next up is Assault from the Demonic World. It is 1 black for a quick cast chant. Target J Resonator gets minus six, minus six, ten in turn, revenge, destroy the target instead. Nice. So it's just a one drop kill spell that's really strong because it kills almost everything almost by itself. And then yep. if you have revenge, it definitely does. The next one, of, of course, is Magic Stone Research Institute. It, enter. It's a black and a green. Enter, banish your Magic Stone. Put the top card of your Magic Stone deck on the field. So not rested. So you get to actually cast it. J Resonators, you control game plus two, plus two for each different name uh, among all Magic Stones you control. Rest to recover J Ruler you control, remove all cards in your opponent's graveyard from the game, which will decimate most of the big top decks. Next up is a Duet of Darkness. It is two black for a, a chant. Choose one, you may choose an additional one for each recovered J Ruler. So if you have both your dudes recovered, you get all three. Yep. Uh, put Target Resonator from the graveyard into, into your hand. Your opponent discards a card. Resonators your opponent's control get minus two, minus two for each different name among all the magic stones you control. So mostly you're gonna be using it to kill their board and to maybe discard a card, but that's what you need it for. Yep. And the cute little card that we have for when you, uh, Judgment is the final stance is a, it's not Ruberg, but it is the, of course, <laughs> the Force of Will equivalent. Uh, quick cast, play this card only if you control attack or defense or magic stance, but you're not gonna be playing it. You're just gonna be bringing it in the, uh, from the graveyard. Enter, if you don't control another, the final stance, take an extra turn after this one. Simple as that. And then in control decks, you wanna take as many control or as many turns as possible. Yeah, and that one's just a free turn when you're like, I need a judgment, cool. You can overextend and be like, judgment, get my dude and get a free turn. And then you swing with your, yeah. a lot of dudes. Uh, that is it for the deck. The stones are really simple. We're playing a lot of one-ofs because we need to with Cruz Ballista because it gets better. Yep. Uh, we got Adaractus Memoria, the Epic Stone of the Blood, which is the Revenge Stone, uh, Magic Stone of the Black Silence, the Gusting Skies, Heaven's Rift, Scorched Bales, and then the Magic Stone of the Six Stages which it uncovers or recovers a ruler when it comes into play. You produce one or you produce one will of any attribute if your ruler is untapped. Yep. Any or if a ruler is untapped. Yeah. So you get two dudes to be like, hey, cool, that one's untapped. It adds any mana because I can. And then, this card's cheats. And then you can do all the tricks with all your yeah. rulers. It's kind of ridiculous how good this magic stone is. Yep. Um, but the deck list will be down below, guys. It's super fun. It's just a good meta deck, so go check it out, and then we'll see you play it on the channel soon. See you all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan.
Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.